welcome to e learning i am p sakthivel assistant professor department of tripoli tandai periyar government institute of technology vellur today's topic snubber circuit first we must know what is snubber circuit what is snubber circuit snubber circuit is a circuit which consists of series combination of resistance rs and capacitance cs in parallel with scr so here we have our scr which is connected to the supply vs and load so here the resistance rs and cs are connected in series this combination of series resistance and capacitance is connected in parallel with the scr next what is the purpose of snubber circuit the purpose is to prevent the unwanted dv by triggering of scr so whenever the supply is connected to the thyristor the rate of rise of voltage if increases then the thyristor will gets unwanted trigger so in order to avoid this malfunction of this str we must control the dv by dt which presents across the thyristor so in order to control this voltage we connect the capacitor in parallel with the thyristor because we know the nature of the capacitor capacitor does not allow any sudden change of voltage so it will allow only slow increase of voltage working of snubber circuit so in this working of snubber circuit first we consider what is the role of this series capacitance cs when switch s is closed a sudden voltage appears across the circuit so here the circuit is connected through the switch if we close the switch yes the supply voltage suddenly presses across the thyristor which is also presses across the capacitor we know that initially the capacitor will act as an short circuit so if it act as an short circuit we know that the voltage across the short circuit is zero the same voltage is also presses across the thyristor that is zero voltage presses across the thyristor but when the time goes on increases the capacitor starts to charging that is its charge from zero voltage to the supply voltage vs but in a slow manner that is the nature of the capacitor it does not allow any sudden change of voltage so the change change in voltage will be very very slow so this rate of rise of voltage dv by dt across the scr terminal will also be slow because this scr and the capacitor are connected in parallel so whenever two elements are connected in parallel the same voltage presses across the two elements so whenever the slow voltage increases across the capacitor the voltage across the thyristor will also slowly increases which is always less than the specified dv by dt value of the scr next we study what is the role of this series resistance so according to the previous slide we can come and conclusion that the series capacitance is enough to prevent the dv by dt triggering of the scr then what is the role of this rs before scr is triggered by gate pulse the capacitor c is fully charged to supply voltage vs so this capacitor is charged to the full supply voltage vs so when this scr is turned on by the gate pulse then this capacitor will gets a discharge through this scr so it makes a closed path or it makes a loop through which the discharge current will flow and this discharge current flow across this path 
depends upon the resistance of the capacitor and the resistance of the thyristor that is the discharge current is given by the supply voltage vs by resistance of loop formed by scr and capacitor practically speaking the value of this loop resistance is very very low if the loop has very low resistance means it allows very high current that is the discharge current is very high so this increases the rate of rise of current that is di by dt this will lead to high value of di by dt which may exceed the specified di by dt rating of scr if the discharge current is increases the specified di by dt rating of scr then this scr will gets damaged so in order to limit this magnitude of this discharging current we are adding an series resistance that is the purpose of the series resistance which is connected in series with the capacitor selection of series resistance series capacitance and load parameters resistance rs capacitance cs and load parameters are so chosen that the dv by dt during the charging of capacitor c is less than the specified dv by dt rating of scr similarly the discharge current at the turn on of scr is less than the specified di by dt rating so we should consider while selecting the parameters that is rs cs and load this dv by dt and di by dt normally this three components rs cs and load parameter forms an underdamped circuit so that dv by dt is limited to acceptable value as provided by the scr rating thank you